notes in the series of two-step equations. So finishing this off is with division and subtraction. So we can see that in our first equation we have x divided by negative 4 minus 3 equals negative 11. So we want to undo this subtraction of 3. So we are going to add 3 to both sides of our equation. And so we are left with x divided by negative 4 equals and negative 11 plus 3 is negative 8. To undo this division of negative 4, we are going to multiply by negative 4. And so we are left with x equals, and negative 8 times negative 4 is a positive 32. So when we plug this value into our equation, so 32 divided by negative 4 minus 3 equals negative 11. 32 divided by negative 4 is negative 8. And negative 8 minus 3 is negative 11. So negative 11 equals negative 11. So our value of x of 32 is true. If we have 6 equals x divided by 7 minus negative 2, so when we worked with these equations with multiplication, uh, my advice was that you rewrite the equation so we don't have that double negative. And so we know that minus negative 2 is the same as adding 2. So if you write that, that equation over again, I think that will help if you have any issues with those types of equations. So in this case, we are going to subtract 2. So 6 minus 2 is 4, and we're left with x divided by 7 on the right side. So then to undo that division of 7, we are going to multiply by 7. And 7 times 4 is 28, and we're left with x on the right side. So x equals 28. We can plug this back into our equation. So 6 equals 28 divided by 7 minus negative 2. 28 divided by 7 is 4. And we can identify that minus negative 2 is the same as plus 2. So then 4 plus 2 is 6. And 6 equals 6, so that checks. Looking at example 3, so if we have x divided by 2 minus 10 equals negative 3. So to undo the subtraction of 10, we would add 10. So on the left side of the equation, we have x divided by 2. And then negative 3 plus 10 is a positive 7. We want to undo this division of 2, so we are going to multiply by 2 and multiply by 2 on the right side. So then x equals 14. So 14 divided by 2 minus 10 equals negative 3. 14 divided by 2 is 7. And 7 minus 10 is negative 3. So it checks. One more to go. So x minus 4, all of that divided by 5 equals negative 1. So recall when we discussed that the whole numerator is divided by 5, not just the value of x. So in this case, we want to multiply by that value of 5. And when we do that, we are left with x minus 4 equals negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. And then undoing this subtraction of 4, we would add 4 to both sides.
So then x equals negative 1. So in our check, we would have negative 1 minus 4 divided by 5 equals negative 1. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. And negative 5 divided by 5 is negative 1. So negative 1 equals negative 1, and that checks. Hopefully this was helpful today when working with division and subtraction equations, and you are ready for your assignment over this topic. Good job!